So that is the, um, if you uh, look at my other part one and part two, I don't think this one will be that long. Hopefully it won't be. But it, that is my view. If you look at my, my videos, Bible, the Bible and knowledge, parts one and two, on Matthew chapter 10. Because here, it seems to me like Judaizers are, are, are inserting this. I'm not telling you to throw everything out. Basically what's being said here is that when Jesus sent out the disciples, he only sent it to the lost sheep of Israel. I remember when James wrote, he said to the ten tribes of Israel, he didn't send it to the Gentiles. It's very strange how these two little things are a coincidence. But then it says here that you, but you go and preach to, the, to, to everybody here in, in, in Judea, not to the Gentiles. And before you get done, I'm going to return. Now, I said I could square this by saying when he meant the Son of Man is going to come, maybe he came to be crucified so it would be open. But the fact is that I don't believe that that was the case. I believe that this was put in here by Judaizers who hated the idea of the Bible going to the Gentiles. Remember, the Jews didn't like the idea that the, the Goyim were getting the gospel. Remember when Peter got the vision to go to the Goyim, he argued with the he, he was he was talking to the to the other uh, other like James and the other uh, other um, heads of the church and he said how could I withhold the blessing they received the Holy Spirit just like we did so I really believe that this is in here and was put in here to refute the idea that the Bible will go to the Gentiles for the Bible did go out to the world didn't it we heard the gospel. The time of the Gentiles did come. So when I read this, if you could reconcile it, you go right ahead, but I don't really feel that I have to reconcile it, knowing that, that the Jews didn't like the idea, had a great bias towards the Gentiles coming into the kingdom of heaven. Um, that's my view on it. Um, that's what I think about that verse. I don't believe that it belongs there. Although you could try to say that, well, maybe, maybe what happened was that all the things in Revelation happened at the time of Christ and we're in some limbo land beyond that and there's no kingdom of heaven, or, and which is not rational, by the way. Let me pull out a couple of things that, are, that don't seem to fit. First of all, Jesus, in other scriptures, went to the Goyim, to the Gentiles. Remember the woman of the well, the Samaritan at the well? Shall we throw that out also? But even in the Old Testament, we have the salvation coming to the Gentiles. It's all written throughout the Old Testament. Jonah. Jonah was sent to Nineveh to preach to the Goyim. There was a guy named Naaman who was not a Jew. And as a matter of fact, it's written in the scriptures here where where Jesus speaks that, you know what? The Jews weren't healed, but Naaman, who was a non-Jew, was healed, and they hated him for that. There was a major prejudice going on between the Jews and the Gentiles. You even see it when you read these scriptures about everybody shared and shared alike in Acts. Remember, where everybody had everything in common and everybody should share? Yeah, that worked for like two chapters. It's two chapters later, if you read, the Jews were discriminating against the Gentiles, and Gentiles were complaining that the Jews were getting more of the handouts. So this whole, we have everything in common thing, didn't work in Acts. See, when I see what's happening, there's a fight between the Jews and the Gentiles. I don't have a problem with scriptures that were, that were put in there, because, hey, if I, was, if I had a certain point of view, I certainly wanted, would want to put it in there. There were people called the pseudo Isidores that were trying to change what the church fathers said. There are things in there, and there were fights over the canon for many years. And that's what I see. But the gospel, you know, if you were going to take a book, right, and you were going to try to insert things, the book would read, and then it would have something funny in it, and then it would, it would, it, it, it would go along with the point. Well, that's what it looks like. Everything looks like grace, and then all of a sudden... Psh, you're sitting there going, well, if I was going, it, it makes sense that if I was going to try to insert something in something, 
it wouldn't fit. And that's what I see. I see places in the Bible where the flow is going just fine and then something doesn't fit. Can I tell you which scriptures are corrupted, which ones are not? I was not there. But I can tell you that I see the gospel quite clearly and it doesn't matter to me. I live by grace through faith. I know that Paul's letters are pretty, pretty darn straightforward. There's so many straightforward things in the scriptures that I don't need other Judaizers to bring me back under the law by, by, making, by putting me under the whip of a book like James. Or scriptures that tell me that you see, that, you, see you need to make it put, fit together when Jesus, it's make Jesus say basically that um, he's not to go to the Gentiles. When Jesus himself went to the Gentiles. When, when the, whole, the whole Old Testament prophesied that it would go to the Gentiles and that the Jews would be blind. See, 99% of what I see fits and those little things that don't fit I'm like why don't they fit well how about the idea that these Judaizers were switching it around could be I don't know I think so though take care